And we're talking about skin because we came across a rather disturbing video of a young lady in a bathtub with what looks like boiling water uh, with another person scraping off um, you know, the, 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 her skin just so she could look fairer. And so we want to show you this before we speak to a doctor to tell us what the implications are, especially when it comes to the health of this woman who decided to undergo this kind of skin treatment. It looks like an acid bath kind of. And so please, if you cannot watch um, you know, things like these, then be careful. Viewer discretion is advised. So take a look at this video. We'll come back and talk to Dr. Borte. That's why he was and out of Fida Body Care and Spa for 30 days. As you can see, it's very instant. You can see now, it's peeling off. And this is the Zemba period. So your instant body wash, your whitening instant body wash, it's very, very effective. Just for 30 days, the result is instant. And out of Fida Body Care and Spa. As you can see, can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? It's so pain off now. Just come to us and feed everybody can I will get this done for you. At 30,000 naira. Can you see? Dead cells peeling off immediately and it's getting whitening immediately. Start whitening wash and out of Fida Body Care and Spa for 30 days. As you can see, it's very instant. You can see now it's peeling off, and this is the December period. So, your instant body wash, your whitening instant body wash, it's very, very effective. Just for 30 days, the result is instant. And out of Fida Body Care and Spa. And we do apologize if you watch this without any warning. Uh, I did mention it earlier. Um, so this is a young lady who decided to get her skin ready for Christmas and so decided to undergo skin bleaching. But this is a different kind. So this is a skin bleaching spa where you go lie in a tub um, with boiling water. I'm not sure what kind of chemicals those are. But it's, it's honestly, I can't believe that I just saw this. And this is really sad, especially because a lot of young women and even women in general want to have that lighter, brighter skin. And so we should have that conversation. I have had it before where they said that skin bleaching and skin toning, well, it's all the same thing. And so if a lady tells you she's toning her skin, that's just another form of bleaching, except that it's not as advanced. And so maybe it's high time we preached, um, you know, to these women to love the skin that they are in and accept themselves for who they are. But also the other conversation is about the men and them being the reason why a lot of women uh, undergo skin bleaching, because men seem to prefer fairer women, women with finer skin and all of that. You can see a dermatologist and have your skin repaired in case you have a few abrasions here and there but to go as far as getting um you know the the top layer of your skin peeled off i'm sorry but that's quite extreme and um i hope that we can help as many people as possible well we'll be speaking to dr borte i believe he's on the line at this point is he um okay so he's joining us on the line hello dr borte good morning and thank you for joining us on tv3 new day how are you I'm fine, and good morning to your viewers good, as well. Good morning. I don't know if you came across this video earlier or you are now just seeing it. Well, I just uh, had someone send it to me yesterday. Okay. And, uh, my, initial, my initial comment was, uh, it was on WhatsApp. Uh, my initial comment was, this overt insanity. That was my initial yeah. comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but why has skin bleaching taken another toll all of a sudden? Why are women so interested in lightening their skin? What's the problem? I, I, that's a question, a million dollar question. I don't know why they would want to do that. Um, they have this feeling that that is what men want. Mm. But I, I, I have a different opinion. I don't think that is what men want. Okay, what's your opinion? Necessarily. Um, I think that every woman is beautiful irrespective of your color, irrespective of your race. Okay. Um, it is how you really carry yourself about. Um, I am an unrepentant uh crusader against skin bleaching of any form okay uh, be it toning be it whatever i'm a, mm -hmm. I'm a crusader against it and yeah i don't think it's any shit right to even take any part of your any um, layer of your skin off in order to look whiter or brighter yeah. or anything yeah yeah but but 
I mean, over the years, we've come across skin bleaching creams. We've come across even pills where they said if you're pregnant and you take those pills, you know, the likelihood of your baby even looking lighter is very high. And so a lot of people were doing that. A lot of people opted for the injections as well. When did we even exhaust all these options to even now introduce a spa uh, that allows you to lay in a bathtub? W what is that? Do you have any idea? Uh -huh. I mean, society sometimes uh, is a bit too gullible because uh, we everything is thrown at us. Uh, people are advertising things, and because things are being advertised on media, it's assumed that it is okay if, yeah. if, if it's being advertised on social media or anywhere. Mm -hmm. But sometimes because of ignorance, if you are pregnant and you say that if I take this, my baby's my baby is going to be a white person or yeah. a white when yeah. you you are as black as you are dark as anything. You, you have to understand the fact that complexion or color is genetic. Yeah, it's purely genetic. You can't change your genes. You can't change the genes of your unborn baby yes. by taking medications. And if anything that you are taking it to possibly change your genes, mm -hmm. it can cause other problems. Yeah. I mean, there's no free lunch. You cannot twist nature. You cannot twist the hands of nature mm -hmm. to, to just uh, go according to what you want. Nature knows where you are going to belong to. We are in Africa, and the, the kind of um, temperatures we have, the kind of sun, sunshine and sunlight we have, yeah. demands that we have a certain kind of skin and certain kind of complexion that has more melanin exactly. to be a protection for us uh, in terms of um, preventing us from getting skin cancers. That people who are in the lighter skin rate, if they get too exposed to the sun, they will get. They will get, now, exactly. As, as, as we are in Africa, not many people, skin cancer is not as, as common in Africa, even though we have so much sunlight, as it, 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 it is for people who are in the other, like the temperate region. So yeah. the reason why our skin is the way it is. Mm -hmm. So any iota or, or any level of skin you take off, means that you are exposing yourself even to more danger. Yeah. I mean, so for me, it is, it is no, no starter at all for every, anybody to even think of um, bleaching. Yeah. Now, if you, if you would notice, people bleach and they may look to the eyes as, okay, they are looking brighter. Mm -hmm. But the, the main effect of bleaching comes on 20, 30 years later. You see wow. somebody, when they get to their 50s, you realize that they have become older faster than before because okay. the, 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 the tensile strength of the skin, the toughness of the skin, that needs to be to be quite turgid. It's not very, very light and loose. Yeah. And you see that they wrinkle very, very fast. So you see somebody who is in their 45 and 50 and they already look like they are 70. Yeah. I mean, and, and you see, when you take off the, uh, the protective part of the skin, that is the epidermis. Mm -hmm. Now, the dermis, it will begin to react to the sunlight. Yeah. It means that you are going to have more problems with the lower part. Now, again, what happens is that mm -hmm. um, when, whenever you have an injury of any sort on your skin yeah. and the wound heals, you realize that sometimes the wound, wound heals with complications because um, you may get a scar, you may get a scalp forming. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. When you take off the protective layer, your, when, if you are dark, the darkness, you, you can't bleach forever unless mm -hmm. you decide that I'm bleaching till I get, get into the coffin. When you stop the bleaching at a point, it will hit back with a bang. Mm -hmm. And you realize that the people who bleach, eventually, they get even darker than how they used to be. Yes, true. And not just darker, they even look like bent. Their, their, their face, their cheeks looks rather bent than how they used to be. Yeah. And they age faster. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you are realizing that you are exposing yourself to the possibility of getting skin cancer in a region that is supposed to be protected with melanin against skin cancer, yeah. you realize that they easily get skin infections, simple, simple skin infections, because there, there's an exposure, there's a break in integrity, and therefore bacteria and these things that surround us can easily infect um, their skin. Yeah. You know? So looking at this video, for example, mm -hmm. I don't know what, they, what chemical they are using or whatever they created to, to, to kill the, the, dead, the, the, the superficial skin, and they call yeah. that dead skin whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Possibly uh, they might have applied a chemical. But the point is that it is not debt you are taking off. It's not debt. I mean, yeah. even no matter how much we, we base with soup and everything, sometimes after basing so many times with soup, you still use your towel and realize that there's still some debt there's on your skin. There's still some debt, exactly. This one, actually, this one actually scrapes off the whole of the epidemic. The, the skin has two layers. The upper one, the upper layer called the epidemic, that is a protection against what, um, over what is down the, the, the dermis. And mm. so this protection is all scraped off. Yeah. And this person feels that I'm doing this for a season because Christmas is coming. You know. Wow.
Yeah, <laughs> especially because we all do understand that bleaching takes a while. And so even though we do not condone it, we do understand that it takes maybe like, well, they say give it six weeks to see the effect. But this is instant. Yeah. Is that even not more deadly? It's even more dangerous. Because anything that, that is done and you get results so instantly, you need yeah. to be very, very careful about it. I mean, even in this day and age, back then we used to say that when blood pressure is so high, 220, we are in a hurry to bring it down. Now, even medicine has progressed to the fact that don't rush any blood pressure down. Yeah. Just bring it down gradually. So yeah. if you want to have the skin that is working, you see, when you take off the skin, this epidemic, the, li yeah. the likelihood of you getting dehydrated quicker is there. Oh. So you just go out on the sun, and of course, you lose more water. You lose more water through the skin than before. Mm -hmm. the, the epidemic actually is protective against all that. When somebody actually dies from burns, people get um, accidents and they have burns and yeah. all these, or somebody has a fire and there's burns. What kills them a lot of times is the dehydration. True. Because once the, 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 the top layer of skin is gone, it, you easily lose water through uh, vapor and through any other means. So it's the dehydration that actually leads them into having kidney failures and uh, uh, kidney shutdowns and, and, and all those. Oh, other it could lead to all of that. Come with it. Okay. And this can lead to all, all of these things. This person, when, once you have done this, you realize that this person cannot even come out in the sun because mm -hmm. he's afraid to come out in the mm -hmm. sun because you are going to have quick reactions, um, um, undesirable effects, even when you try to walk on the sun. Because yeah. Now you have exposed yeah. the skin to direct contact with the sun, with the ultraviolet rays of the sun. And this is a no-brainer. Okay, now we, we have people who are supposed to be, you know, educating us on skin bleaching and why we should stay away from it. For example, um, you know, health workers, and there are some who have even bleached themselves, you know, and so they are supposed to be taking care of us and they find themselves in a similar situation as well. This even poses more dangerous, um, you know, health um, implications on us as well. But also aside that, I want to ask, so as health professionals as well, we keep talking about the negative effects of skin bleaching, yet we're seeing the influx of these products. There has been a ban on uh, products with bleaching agents in, them, in the country, but these products are still on the market. We have them all over, and I'm talking about hydroquinone, and they're all over. So exactly. what are we doing yeah. to ourselves, and how far well, are we going to ensure that we can, you know, clamp down on this particular issue as well? Yes, Med medically, um, we, we all know the effect, the negative, we mentioned some of the negative effects of bleaching. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not surprising that even some medical staff, such as in nurses or whatever, they also do it. It is a cosmetic thing, the cosmetology world, they also would also be promoting yeah. whatever they want to promote. And sometimes it is uh, people will know what is right, and yet for their own reasons, mm. they want to say, "I want to look like this, and therefore I want to do it." I mean, yeah. today people are doing all kinds of changes in their in humanity and all that for their own reasons. Yeah. But it doesn't it doesn't debunk the fact that the the uh, adverse effects or the untoward effects are. I mean, you have, you have choice of an action, but you don't mm -hmm. have the choice of the consequences. Mm -hmm. The consequences mm -hmm. will definitely will definitely come. Um, yeah. The hydroquinones and those things in the bleaching creams and that is supposed to have been banned. But then, yes. you know, what, what happens? People are still smuggling things in and people know where to go and get them if they want. But that's and a for problem. Me, I think it's for the regulatory authorities to be able to clamp down on these hideouts where these things are smuggled through and brought mm -hmm. into the system. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I, I, I know, for example, that sometimes you realize that when, when some crime is committed, within a short time, if it's in a certain group, within a short time, the, the people are arrested or yeah. and they know where the hideout of these people are and they go and logo mm -hmm. all of them. Sorry for using that word. They go and logo all of them. Yes. And these are subsets and then they get. It's the same thing. I believe that if the, the, the regulatory agencies and if they want to clamp down on these people, they will. I mean, today I hear a lot of things on media and everybody says that, oh, everything I'm putting out there is, is, is sanctioned by the FDA, is yeah. by the FDA. I mean, we need to look at these things very well because um, it's like we our regulations and our clamping down on these things are not is are not They're as not effective, effective as, yeah. as I, I would want it to be because today anybody just um, any anybody just puts out any merchandise there, mm -hmm. um, any advertises anyhow and yeah. solve this problem, and people are supposed to accept it and go and buy it. Exactly. And I don't think personally, I don't think that. Um, I, medicine, medicine of any form needs to be advertised the way it is advertised because 
if you are saying that um, if you have headache, come and buy this. Headache can be of any cause. It, yeah. it can be any yeah. cause. Any, so it's not just headache. Headache is not just headache. Mm-hmm. So the way um, medicines are, uh, are advertised with, with symptomatology, just symptoms are put out there. If you have this, you have this. Yeah. this. Symptoms are symptoms. Diagnosis are different. Mm-hmm. For example, I, I was telling somebody this morning that diarrhea is not a diagnosis. He said, oh, this diarrhea, this diarrhea. I said, no. Diarrhea is not a diagnosis. It's something you're going through. Okay. But the cause of your diarrhea could even be HIV. The cause of your oh. diarrhea could be rotavirus. The cause of your di- 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 diarrhea could be a protozoal infection. Okay. And so that we need to go down there and find out why you keep having why? the diarrhea. Mm-hmm. So you just mm-hmm. don't go and stop diarrhea until I've stopped the diarrhea. And then two months later, you are still having the same diarrhea, exactly. of diarrhea again. So okay. Symptomatologies are not supposed to be used. So people just peddle anything around, any merchandise, and then we are supposed yeah. to buy. And then yeah. as long as they keep saying it, people want to believe it's true, and then they go and buy all these creams and they still use. Yeah. And by the time so, a, 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 a lady is, is 45 years old, she is looking she's, like she's 70 years exactly. old. Exactly. Because her skin is weak and wrinkled. Huh. Anyway, well, we do hope that uh, ladies are watching and also some men as well because we found a few men who also um, have bleached their skin. But Dr. Bote, thank you so much for your time. Am I, um, am I speaking to Bella? Yes, this is Bella that, Mundi. Right. Yes, this is Bella All right. Mundi. All right. right. Thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure right. talking to you. All right. All right. And uh, <laughs> Dr. Yee also says that mental health comes in various forms, one of which we hardly hear of or talk about is body dysmorphic disorder. This lady clearly needs a bit of help, but the conversation should even start from those of us who tend to feel inadequate about our skin tone. And so one minute we're saying, I'm not sure about this. I think maybe my skin is too dark or I'm too fat or I'm too this or too that. That is where it starts from. And so maybe we should have a conversation about feeling comfortable and confident about the skin you find yourself in, about who you really are. And maybe from that point, we can tackle this issue you even better and so that's been it for the health segment uh, we've been talking about skin bleaching based on that viral video where a woman was seen having her skin scraped off in what looks like a hot water bath and so that's it uh this is still tv3 new day the